theme vlog, so obviously we're going to be talking about romance. Uh, some spoiler alerts just ahead of time. There are some books where, you know, couples might end up with somebody else that you didn't expect, and we might have a few of those lined up, so stop watching now. You don't want to hear about any of the spoiler alerts for some of the couples and romances. Um, but without further ado, I will get started with one of my favorites since childhood. Um, so we're not just doing romance novels, we're doing couples in books that could be any genre. So my favorite couple, Harbin stole my other favorite couple, <laughs> is from Anna Green Gables, and it is Anne and Gilbert, of course. Um, I absolutely adore Anne, and I love her character, and I mean, you just can't not love Gilbert. So Anne and Gilbert met in school, and he started tugging on her red berets and called her carrots. And she was so mad that she slammed her slate over his head. <laughs> and there's a nice little picture in here of that. And the quote says, You mean hateful boy, she explained passionately. So from that point on, she absolutely hates Gilbert. And it takes the entire first book until you actually see her start to forgive Gilbert. And I won't give why she forgives him or any of that, but I absolutely love the relationship between them because at some point Gilbert realizes he actually really likes Anne, and he does pursue her a bit, but she refuses to talk to him or even forgive him, and Anne is just such a delightful character, and Gilbert is very handsome and very sweet, and so they're definitely quite the couple. Um, I won't give away the whole rest of the series, you guys can go read that for yourselves, but they're definitely one of my top favorite couples. And on to Harbin. All right, uh, I have a few. Should I just talk about one and then we'll come back? Or yeah, all right. I got. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's see. Let's do the Song of the Lioness series. Is that what it's called? Yes. With Alana, I don't. <laughs> my first book is this because of animals, but uh, here's the second one. So that's what they look like, at least my copies. Anyway, Alana and George are the two characters that I love. That's a spoiler. <laughs> well, there it is. But uh, Alana and George, I just, I love them as characters individually because it takes a really long time for that kind of, well, for George, it's a little quicker. For Alana, it's a slow burn to kind of get to that um, relationship area. Oh, but like, John. because she loves somebody else at first, but... <laughs> You know, as you do. But I just love it because uh, I just really loved the idea of a, like a, a, a woman who wanted to go and do something more than was expected of her. Um, I think people can really relate to that. And then um, just having that kind of roguish gentleman guy who um, he has that little edge of danger to him, but as a sweetheart on the inside, you know, and who appreciates a woman who does her own thing and who has, you know, kind of an independent streak to her. I just, I loved that about them, and I just think that they're great, and he, <laughs> he is so attractive for, like, an imaginary <laughs> collection of words, but, <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's the first one I will mention, so go ahead, Amador, let's hear about yours. All right, well, I, too, have two. Um, my first one, <clears throat> probably my most favorite, would be Jamie and Jackie from Bloody Jack, which you've heard about in previous blogs and vlogs from us. Um, Bloody Jack is a 12 book series, um, and Jamie and Jackie meet in book one, and they fall in love in book one, and then they are apart for the better part of the whole series. Like, they'll meet, and they're torn apart, and then they meet again, and are torn apart, and they meet again, and torn apart, and they're always torn apart at the very end of a book, so then you're like, ah, I need to read the next one, and... Um, they're very easy to read, so, I mean, you get through one in, like, a day, and I won't spoil anything, because Air still hasn't read the ending, but, um, it is a very satisfying end to their tale, and that's all I will say for Air's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so my next book is actually a romance book. It's not specifically the couple, although I do love the couple, but I absolutely love the book, and all the giddy goats have probably heard me talk about this and recommend it to them a thousand times. It is Ravished by Amanda Quick, um, and the couple in this is Harriet and Gideon, and I think the reason I fell in love with it to begin with is just the way that Amanda Quick describes Harriet. 
she's got some buck teeth, one tooth overlaps the other, and she's, you know, not perfect, which is important, because a lot of romance novels, they just make, you know, everybody perfect, and Gideon is, like, this hideous, lecherous beast, and he's got this horrible past. It's definitely a retake of Beauty and the Beast. Um, it is set in the early 1900s or 1800s, I forget which one, but so definitely my alley of historical fiction. Romance, this is not your PG-13 romance novel. If you're younger, definitely consider before you pick it up and read it. There's some scenes in it, which will turn you red if you are too young. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love this book. I've read it um, many, many times. And I love Harriet and Gideon. Harriet's definitely a very strong female character. She is beyond marrying age. Uh, so she's definitely taken it on upon herself to be her own woman, and she doesn't like to be controlled. Whereas Gideon's very much, he is like the lord of a house, and he's like, no, woman, listen to me. Um, so they have a very interesting relationship, and they're kind of forced into marriage because he and her spend the night in a cave together, and even though they don't do anything, he has to be the honorable guy, and she's like, no, you don't. And so I love their dynamic together because she's very strong-willed, and he's very much, I need my honor to stay intact because of all this other stuff, which you'll find out if you read it. Um, so I love them as a character, and I love romance novels, and I love historical fiction, so it's all wrapped up nicely. But that is my second romance novel and couple for Valentine's Day. Harbin? <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to go with this book, which is Wolf Tower by Tanith Lee. And I feel like not a lot of people have heard of this book, and it is, it's is—it's kind of just like a... Let's see, what age would this be? I think this is kind of middle, middle grades, verging on young adult. And I know there's more to this series that I have, actually haven't read because I was worried that it would make me not love it so, as much as I do, so which is like a really silly reason not to read the rest of the series, but so it is. Um, the characters in this are Clady, and um, she first meets this godlike man named Nemean, <laughs> who ends up being just a total dirtbag, but, um, spoiler, but <laughs> she, she meets this other guy who's like a, he's kind of a raider type of person, but not as creepy as that sounds, maybe. His name is Argul, A-R-G-U-L, I don't know how you pronounce that, but, so they meet under kind of sketchy circumstances when he, like, tries to sell her off to a, a cult kind of group to be sacrificed for something. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, ridiculous. This is, like, a really interesting creative world, because it's kind of fantasy-esque, but there's so many, like, just weird um, cultures and stuff. Anyway, um, he so and I just love this because it's written in a kind of diary format, which I think is really hard to do in a way that makes you still anticipate things and kind of wonder what's going to happen. Um, but it also makes me relate so well to Clady because she is so... I don't know if you guys are like me, but when I was younger, I was like, oh, this boy, he's like so dreamy. I know nothing about him, but he's really attractive, so I'm going to love him forever. You know, and she's like that at the beginning of this book. And so when I read this, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is me. I wrote this. And, uh, and, and so she like has this crush on this guy who ends up being kind of a jerk. And, and then she meets Argyle and he, she's like, oh, he's like the worst guy ever. And he turns out to be kind of a surprisingly good guy that had all these different motivations that you didn't realize and stuff like that. So, uh, I just, and, and he just has that, you know, that, that kind of gruff thing going on where you don't really know why she would like him or why anyone would, but you know, it, it's all concealing this kind of kinder insight. And I just, uh, and, and the ending when they get together is so good. It's so satisfying. And I just love it. So if you haven't checked this out, I mean, I, I tried not to be too specific about it or spoil anything, so check that one out if you like kind of cute little <laughs> young adult romances. It's a really fun one. Emidor, did you have another one? Yes, my last one is probably not going to be too obscure, um, but Jamie, my second Jamie, somehow, uh, Jamie and Claire from Outlander. Um, I've loved Scottish things ever since I was in high school, just 
I don't know why I was always kind of made fun of it because they were like really you're playing bagpipes and you're not playing but like listening to bagpipes <laughs> and they were like god you're a freaking weirdo um then suddenly it's like cool like Scottish things so whatever um <laughs> but I love time travel I love Scotland and so I decided to check it out and um yeah I mean it's it's a pretty cut and dry like oh, we have to get married, and oh, we're learning to love each other, and, you know, there are some scenes in there, but, you know, they're tastefully done, at least. <laughs> um, admittedly, I've only read the first book. I'm in the process of reading the second book, and I have the other three that are, or the, I have three, four, and five that are currently propping up my computer right now, um, but I will read them shortly, hopefully, one day. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my, my last couple. <laughs> All right, so that's two from each of us. I don't think we have any more. I do um, have an honorable mention. mention. There are many characters that we adore and love. Oh, this is my honorable mention. It's the one that made me love honorable mention. couples. Ella Enchanted. That's all I'm going to say. It was just great. <laughs> we love love. I, I agree. I love that one. Not the movie, but that's a, that's yeah. a vlog for another, for another day. Time. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so those were our romance picks for Valentine's Day. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you have a favorite couple, if one of our couples is what your favorite couple, too. We'd love to, like, get all giddy over it with you. Um, definitely check out our vlog, at the Giddy Goat. Uh, check out our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We're semi-active on all of those. Um, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this video and others, and we will definitely have more book vlogs on the way for you guys. See you all next time! Bye! <laughs> Bye!